it's Marianne. Welcome to another art vlog where I'll be restoring some paints, working on an art piece, and doing some still life flower studies. It's going to be a slow yet productive day, so feel free to paint alongside me while we get some work done. Since it was a rainy day in my studio, I decided it was the perfect time to restore some of my gouache paints. My current favorite is this Himmy gouache palette I got for myself last summer. But honestly, since then, I've kind of neglected them until they became all crusty. Luckily, jelly gouache is very easy to restore as long as you have the time and patience. I started a painting a couple days ago, so I need these colors now to finish it up. This painting is inspired by the Lunar New Year, which for 2022 is Year of the Water Tiger. To restore these paints, it's quite simple. All you need to do is spray some water into the containers and let it sit until the paint softens. Then, you can take a palette knife and stir it up until it's back at this thick and creamy consistency. It's quite satisfying honestly, and sometimes this takes hours depending on how many paints you have, but I don't really mind. I've finished the base of the water and surrounding plants, so right now I'll be finishing up the lilies and remaining details. This was actually my first time completing a painting of a tiger. Growing up, I usually did portraits and flowers. This year, I've noticed that I've painted a lot more animal and plant subjects, which I've realized I enjoy very much. Sometime in the future, I hope to link my art to conservation initiatives. So, if you're interested in art that gives back to the environment, stay tuned as I'll be updating my page for any progress on this goal.
I think I say this every time I finish a new piece, but I always, always love the finished result. It's so satisfying to see all my effort come together in the end in the form of art. Prints of this piece, Water Tiger, are up on my shop and the link will be in the description for those interested in purchasing my work. When I first opened up my art shop in February, a friend gifted me this bouquet. One of my most favorite study subjects are flowers, and every time I have fresh flowers in the studio, it's like an innate sense to paint them. I made a tiny painting to use as a color reference for my sketchbook page 105. I find that this helps me with setting a composition so I can adjust what my final piece looks like. I tend to keep colors and shapes loose. Some may call it messy, but it's satisfying to me in a way. That or you can call me a lazy perfectionist. Lots of messy dollops will create a complete image eventually. Something I'm definitely trying to improve is my color theory, but we'll get to that sometime in the future. Although I've had a slow few working days, I'm quite happy with the progress made. To close off the day, I'll leave you with a quote that I liked from a film about Van Gogh. As I work at my drawings day after day, what seemed unattainable before is now gradually becoming possible. Slowly, I'm learning to observe and measure. I don't stand quite so helpless before nature any longer. Thanks for being here with me. I'll see you again soon.